Buddy Rhodes ECC is a remarkable concrete mix. Not only is it stronger than other pre-blended bag mixes, it is also capable of producing unique finishes. It is the ideal material for creative concrete artisans who demand the highest possible performance. The cast technique using Buddy Rhodes ECC blended mix utilizes high PVA fiber loading to create a full bodied mix. This can be folded or stirred, creating swirls when multiple batches are dosed with different pigment loadings. These styles are chosen when the look of marble or natural stone is desired. We will be showing two different methods for blending multiple colors. In mold blending on the left and in bucket blending on the right. Although the mix design and mixing process is the same for each technique, the way the colors are blended and placed will be different. For this project we will be using Buddy Rhodes ECC Blended Mix, Chilled Water, Water Reducer 420, PVA 15 fibers, PVA 100 fibers, and pigment. Begin by adding the chilled water to a mixing vessel. Add most of the pre-measured Water Reducer 420 and 3 quarter of the dry material and blend well. Add the remaining dry material and blend until homogeneous. Scrape the sides to incorporate all dry material. Take note, this mix should be extremely fluid prior to adding the PVA fibers. Add the remaining water reducer if needed and blend well. Add the PVA 100 fibers followed by the PVA 15 fibers and blend well. Transfer some of this material to a clean bucket and set aside. This will be our first color. Add pigment to the remaining mixed material and blend well until uniform in color. Remove some of this material and set aside. This will be our second color. To the remaining mixed material, add more of the same pigment and blend until uniform in color. We now have three different colors, natural, medium tone, and darker tone. This is where the two methods differ. Let's start by showing the in-bucket blending technique. Combine material from all three batches into one container and fold them together by hand. The more you mix, the less variegation you may have. Pour the mixture into the mold, allowing the material to fall in a random fluid pattern. Carefully assist the material into place, completing the pour. Tap or vibrate the mold to help consolidation. Do not massage the material in the mold as this will disrupt the natural swirl contrast created. Cover with plastic and an insulating blanket when the concrete is firm to the touch. The next day you can demold your casting revealing your creation. Since this method is utilizing the natural blending of multiple colors of concrete, you cannot massage the mold surface to minimize trapped air without causing manufactured results. There may be voids left in the surface that can be filled with bone paste. Polish or sand the surface to 200 grit. Using a diamond pad, remove sharp edges. Mix water, bone paste, and the same pigment used in the casting to create a creamy slurry consistency. Apply the slurry by working into the voids. Strike off the excess with a drywall knife in different directions. The next day, polish the excess dry bone paste off with 200 grit diamond polishing pads. Clean with water and wipe dry. 
Elevate the casting on non-absorptive strips to allow air to fully circulate around the entire casting. The piece is now ready. Now let's go back and explain another way of using this technique, in which the three different colors are blended directly into the mold. Once you have your three different colors mixed, another method for blending would be to irregularly place the different colors into the mold and twist the colors by hand, working the different tones all the way to the mold surface. After sufficient blending and swirling, simply fill the form the rest of the way. Tap or vibrate the mold to help level and consolidate. Once the concrete is firm to the touch, cover with plastic and an insulating blanket. The next day, demold the casting to reveal the results. Lightly polish or sand the surface with 200 grit diamond pads on a wet polisher or by hand. Blend some bone paste with the same pigment, apply into the voids and allow to dry overnight. Process the dry bone paste flush with the surface using 200 grit diamond pads on a wet polisher. Rinse thoroughly and wipe dry. Elevate onto non-absorptive sticks for proper airflow around the piece while curing. For more information about post-finishing and sealing, please visit our website.